Welcome back to the Business Blueprint Online YouTube channel where we assist you in building a profitable business. If you want to learn how to start a successful business, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. In this video, we'll show you how to start a cleaning business. So what is a cleaning business? Cleaning businesses provide cleaning, fumigation, pest control, vacuuming, and other similar services through professionals. Because cleaning is something many people do not want to do themselves, it is profitable. Why start a cleaning business? Starting a cleaning business can put you on a fast track to high revenue potential without the need for a significant initial investment in equipment or supplies. When it comes to customers and opportunities, cleaning is a field that others virtually limitless possibilities. Even a small operation can generate substantial profits. What kind of skills are required to start a cleaning business? A reasonable level of fitness, punctual, reliable, and trustworthy, able to manage time effectively, ability to work both alone in, in a team, awareness of health and safety procedures, reading skills for following instructions, and math skills for measuring cleaning fluids. Reasons you should start a cleaning business. There is a demand for cleaning services, and there will likely always be a demand for cleaning services. Which means that starting your own cleaning business carries a lower risk from that perspective. Reasons why you should not start a cleaning business Running a cleaning business entails several risks, including employee slips and falls on the job, and accidental damage or destruction of customer's property. These risks are in addition to more general business risks that could affect your business property, such as fire or theft. Is a cleaning business profitable? Yes, nobody wants dirt. The cleaning business has the potential to be highly lucrative. Cleaning businesses are profitable because there is a high demand for their products and services. Cleaning businesses also provide a significant number of expansion opportunities. There are many different types of cleaning tasks that you can complete. Finally, cleaning businesses are profitable because they require minimal overhead costs. How much does it cost to start a cleaning business? The initial investment required to start a cleaning business ranges between $2,000 and $6,000. The scope of the company determines the amount of money needed. This figure considers legal issues, insurance policies, equipment, supplies, labor and marketing strategies, among other things. Compared to other industries or businesses, the initial capital investment required is significantly lower. How to start a cleaning business Business or niche idea There are two main types of cleaning businesses, residential and commercial. A residential cleaning service specializes in cleaning homes, apartments, and condos. A commercial cleaning business focuses on commercial spaces like offices, hotels, and retail stores. The residential cleaning industry is typically more accessible and cheaper to break into than the commercial cleaning business. Requiring expensive specialist equipment and more effort to get clients in evening or night shifts. For these reasons, a residential cleaning business might be the best option when you're first starting or starting a cleaning business on the side. Once you've chosen the type of cleaning business you want to start, Narrow it down even further by finding and selecting a niche. What will make your business unique? Do your research and look at demand in your area. If you're in a college town, consider specializing in apartment cleaning. You can also look into specialties like eco-friendly cleaning or carpet cleaning or move-in or move-out cleaning, deep cleaning, and more. This will form the basis of your marketing strategy. Research product or service. Conducting a market research is crucial to successful research and development. This is important since it allows you to identify and understand your client's demand and as a result, offer better products or services. Answers many of these questions and increases your chances of success. Assess needs. A needs assessment is a business technique that determines the efficiency of your company's actions or operations. It can be used as a part of a planning process to identify gaps or needs and remedy them, particularly in the cleaning industry. Research competition. 
Understanding what your competitors are doing will assist you in positioning yourself as well as your product or service inside the market. By looking at them, you can see how your products and services compare to those of your largest competitors and what kind of threat they offer to your business. It also aids in the identification of industry trends that you may have overlooked. Create a business entity. A business entity is formed to conduct business activities. Learn about the different types and how to choose one. In simplest terms, a business entity is an organization created by individuals to conduct business, engage in a trade, or partake in similar activities. Your choice of business entity is a significant one. The entity you choose can affect how people perceive your business and, more importantly, it has a considerable impact on your legal exposure and finances. Business Licenses and Certificates if Necessary When it comes to beginning a business or launching a new product line, most people don't give their business licenses and certificates much thought, if any at all, until something goes wrong. Most business owners expect their license and certification requirements to be straightforward and quick to get. You should complete these steps before you're opening your business, whether you apply for the necessary licenses and permits on your own or through a licensing provider. If a location is padlocked for non-compliance, no business owner wants to be left holding the bag. Get EIN or start an LLC. EIN, if your primary place of business is in the United States or one of its territories, you can register for an EIN online. An employer identification number, sometimes called an EIN, or a business tax ID, is a nine-digit number that you use to file taxes for your company. An EIN also aids in the formation of a business entity, the acquisition of a business loan, the opening of a business bank account, and much more. LLC, a limited liability company, is a popular choice among small business owners because of the liability protection, managerial flexibility, and tax advantages it often affords. Create a business plan. Cleaning services business plan searches are plenty on the internet. Indicating that people are looking for assistance in writing a cleaning company plan, you can, however, pay a professional organization that provides these services to create one for you. Implement bookkeeping. One of the most crucial habits to develop is keeping track of transactions in your cash book when starting a business. This is also something we can use in the cleaning industry. It also serves as a guide for making general strategic decisions and comparing the company's revenue and profit targets. In short, once a company is up and operating, it is necessary to allocate more attention and resources to preserving good records. Create a marketing plan. A marketing plan can assist you in determining your target market and how your product or service will benefit them. Determine how you can bring in new clients. Encourage your current customers to repurchase your goods or services. Get a website. A website is essential for any business in today's digital environment. If you own a company and don't have a website, you're undoubtedly missing out on business chances. A website can be utilized for various marketing methods to help your company flourish. People nowadays are both busy and intelligent. And they don't have the time to go to the store. Before purchasing, they conduct an internet search to learn more about the goods or services. They may learn more about the brand, features, pricing, size, and color through your website. To get a website, you can employ an agency or a freelancer who can design a business website depending on your specifications. A website is also significant since it aids in the establishment of a company's credibility. For visitors to quickly locate the company's shops or offices, most websites give a map and directions. Another significant aspect is that by creating a website, you have the opportunity to represent your clients, explain why they should trust you, and provide testimonials and evidence to back up those claims. Get a logo. No modern business can function without a strong brand identity. Your company name should reflect your industry as well as your leads. Your logo should represent your objectives, benefits, and mission. Use an online logo builder such as a Logaster to design a professional-looking logo quickly. Place your logo and contact information on your staff uniform, automobile, bills, and other services to advertise and progress your firm. Start email marketing. 
With email marketing, you can keep remarketing to those leads, which can help you build a connection of trust and trustworthiness. It's a lot simpler to convert leads into cleaning clients when they feel like they know, like, and trust you. Start social media. Your company's visibility can be boosted by using social media. If you're a small business owner trying to boost your social media presence, this is the book for you. Posts, tweets, images, videos, and other forms of social media can be updated regularly. As a result, it's critical to use what your target audience responds to the most. This will help you keep your customer base for the long run. Change occurs regularly. As a result, periodically examine and reevaluate part of your business and social media. Get a business insurance. Businesses require business insurance to assist cover the cost of property damage and liability claims. Without insurance, a company's owners may be forced to pay for costly losses and legal claims out of pocket. Create a launch plan. This is the strategy for introducing a new product or service to your customers. It aids in the management and visualization of marketing activity. It enables you to form long-lasting bonds that you can nurture with dedication, time, and effort. It gives the potential customers helpful information that motivates them to take action. They are significantly more responsive to the concept when you prime an audience before a launch or a sale. Start the business. What do I need for a cleaning business? Well, cleaning businesses start up all the time. One of the most important decisions to make when beginning a cleaning business is doing it alone, or creating a franchise. Starting a cleaning service on your own is far less expensive. On the other hand, most franchise companies already have a marketing strategy in place to help you get off to a faster start. To get started, though, every cleaning service owner would require specific licenses, materials, equipment, and most importantly, a clientele. That's all for today, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to learn more.